This is the uh, Atari MTR90 Mark III. It's the tape machine we have at home. I'm going to show you today how to align the tape machine for a reproduction or for playback. All right, one of the things you're going to want to do, and we do this before any time we use the tape machine, is you want to clean off the heads, and we use a uh, at least a 90% uh, percent alcohol solution. Um, the higher the better. You don't want you want you want as little water as possible in this stuff. So I just load it up like this, and just kind of gently go back and forth on these. And you want to go in the direction of the tape path, and you can see. I don't know if you can see or not, but there's a little buildup on here. And you're going to want to clean all the metal parts the tape has contact with. So. This is the uh, MRL alignment tape. You can't align your tape machine without one. So if you're going to record a, with a tape machine, um, make the investment in one of these guys. Like with all of our reels, we store the MRL uh, tails out. This is a little tool we use to uh, turn the little pots on the cards. Little tweaker thing. I don't even know what their real name for this thing is. Alright, this may sound kind of uh, anal or over the top, but um, I always put the, uh, the tape machine in all safe when I load up the MRL. This thing's cost several hundred dollars. They can run up to a thousand dollars. You don't want to accidentally erase. Your MRL. So, we'll go ahead and uh, rewind this guy to the top. For the first alignment, um, I'm going to do the repro side of things. I'm going to do the repro head. So make sure that your tape machine is in all repro, not cell wrap or input. Let's go and hit play. We've got it rewound. You're going to hear the voice of the famous uh, MRL guy. IEC equalization. One kilohertz. So I'm going to grab my tweaker. My tweaker here. And basically what you'll see is it plays back a 1K tone. It's going to show you. It's going to show you uh, what 1K is reproducing at on your meters here. We previously had our machine set up for NAB for a different session, and we're going to realign it here back to IEC. We had a 16-track uh, head stack on, so we just put the 24-track head stack on last night. We're going to realign the whole tape machine. So this is playing back the 1K tone. So what we're going to do here is set our repro gain to be zero. And let me show you on the card here. Here's card one. Here's repro gain. I'm going to turn this. I can get it in there and operate the camera at the same time. I'm going to turn this. In this case, it's going to be um, until it gets up to zero. I'm going to do the same thing for track 2 through 24. See, as you can see, got all 24 of my channels here set to zero. Now I'm going to set the cell rep to be zero as well. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to flip the uh, the tape machine into cell rep, and you'll see my levels here have changed. So I'm going to go ahead and pull it back to the beginning of this test tone. I'm going to find the the sync gain which is, you'll see it right there, that little pot right there. And now I'm going to adjust this so it also is one. Or, I'm sorry, zero. 
do the same thing for all the channels one all the way up through 24 and again we're adjusting the cell rep The next thing we're going to do is we're going to set <clears throat> our tape machine, the low speed EQ, to be zero at 10 kilohertz. You can see it's kind of fluctuating around up here. So down on the uh, on the little card, you're going to find the low speed EQ pot, which is right here, and I'm going to adjust this guy until it reads around zero. Now your your the channels on the outside one sixteen may wibble a little bit at ten k. It's just the uh, the edges of the tape are a little less stable than the the middle. So I'm gonna do this for channels one through twenty four as well. So I'm done with my ten k alignment. You can see all of the uh, the needles are pointing at zero. And again, it's gonna waver a little bit at ten, just a hair. So don't don't freak out. It's it's normal. 100 hertz. Next thing we're going to do is uh, set the low frequency compensation. And on the MTR90, there's a little tiny switch down here. It's going to be right here. We set it to on, and it basically lets you adjust the low end <coughs> compensation for the tape machine. And you can see we're kind of all over the place here um, since we just replaced the, uh, the head stack. But uh, we're just basically going to align this um, to about zero as well. People go zero to they have different ways to do it. I just, I'm fine with zero. You're going to find the low frequency compensation right there. And again, I'm going to turn that till I'm right around zero. I'm going to repeat that 1 through 24 as well. There we go. Got my low frequency compensa compensation set. Everything's, uh, everything's where I want it. At this point we're done with our, um, our repro alignment for the uh, MTR90. I'm going to go and fast forward the, uh, the MRL. Go and store it tails out. You want to take really good care of these things, I said it before, but you don't want to have to buy these all the time. These are probably one of your most important tools for keeping your tape machine running and sounding as good as it, as good as it should. So that's it. Um, hope this helps. We'll do uh, the record alignment next.